We have huge news for you guys. That is if you are an Italian aficionado when it comes to cars. Yes, but the real news here is that the 2024 Fiat 500e electric car is coming to the U.S. in just a couple months. That's right, and they actually gave us information that we can finally pass on to you guys because we've already written about this car. We knew, oh, a few days ago that it was going to cost $32,500 as a base price, but now we have more information on it including battery size, power, and whatnot. Yeah, and we can also talk about how it compares to some of the competitors. Really? They say it's the lightest weight, the most lightweight electric car you can buy or will be able to buy in a couple months. Okay, well, that's a good start because lightweight does help when it comes to range, and we're going to be giving you those numbers in just a moment. But this is the Fiat 500e for 2024. And what you're looking at here is one of the smallest vehicles that will be coming to the United States that can hold four people. And it's also red. Yes, so the red is the uh, launch color. It is actually R-E-D, and it is on their website. And they do have a special website that you can go to for this, once again, something that we're going to cover in just a second. Hey, and listen to DJ. You see that? Well, that, that's Italian for DJ. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, but um, so what are the specs, dude? Uh, let's, let's knock it out. Okay, so go for it on the numbers. So 42 kilowatt hour battery. Mm -hmm. So it's actually pretty sizable, but competitive in the set like the Mini SE Electric? That would be the most competitive car. That, yeah. that would be what it goes up against. And the Mini is actually a slightly larger vehicle. The Mini is slightly larger, slightly quicker. Yeah. Uh, slightly less expensive, but the new Mini is coming still. Right. Uh, but this, what I love about this is 149 miles of range, EPA estimated. That's EPA estimated. Now, yeah. we did a story on this where the WLTP range of it, which is really the European or overseas way of measuring the vehicle, is longer, is like 199 miles, yeah. but that doesn't count for this U.S. EPA but, numbers. But U.S. 149, so it could be a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on your climate, driving mm -hmm. conditions. Um, I subtracted 149 divided by 42, mm -hmm. the size of the battery. Right. So that's about three and a half miles per kilowatt hour. That's pretty efficient. Which should be doable for a car this size. Yeah, it, once again, the lightest, smallest car that is out there in its class that holds for people. Now what you're looking at here are some uh, images that Andre was able to get. Um, bear in mind that we had an embargo, so that's what we're waiting for for yeah. producing this car. So it's got, I mean, full featured car, right? Yeah. I mean, it's got five seats. So you could probably stuff a few people in their no, back you're, seat. No, it's, it's only two headrests in the back, so okay. only two people can go in the back seat. That's unfortunate. Yes, it is. Also about seven, just over seven cubic feet of actual cargo volume behind the second row really which is not, not a lot not a lot that's basically like a couple grocery bags now we've dealt with that before it's actually more room than the 500 that used to be here the regular 500 well we have history with this right yeah we do um if i mess it up no I, i'm not gonna mess it up so this is i mean you and roman reviewed this like 10 years ago there it is actually nearly 11 years ago and that is the original 500e and that was a compliance car the funny thing is is that at the time a lot of people at fiat did not want to build this car and they did not want to sell it and it did better than they expected with sales and i think it had about an 85 mile range give or take not exactly what i would call but the most frugal car but it was really quick yeah it was kind of fun to drive i yeah. think well i didn't actually end up driving it you Ro guys did yeah yeah i liked it roman loved it uh, actually, we, it was almost the first car we bought I'm for TFO. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't like jump out and buy a brand new one. But these became really affordable used cars as well. Yes, they did. For a while. Yeah. Now, let's talk about uh, charge rates because that's going to matter. Yeah. So, they're stating 85 kilowatts fast charge capability. 85 versus Mini's 50 kilowatts. That is far better than Mini's yeah. 50 kilowatts. So, they're saying you can get from 0 to 80% uh, in around like 35-ish minutes, mm -hmm. which is really usable, I would say, for everyday driving. Yeah, bear in mind that this car is built specifically to be a commuter, not a long-distance, long-range vehicle. And if you decided to do that, it's going to take a while. Yeah, and also, of course, level 1 and level 2 charging is available. Mm -hmm. So, you can plug it in your house. Yep. Or on a slightly longer trip, right? That fast charging Easy 85 fast. kilowatts. Yeah. Um, there's what we're talking about by, you know, red. And look at the seats. This yes. is the thing I like about Fiat is that they're very clever with their packaging. I mean, I already like the interior design. Of course, that's subjective. But the seat says Fiat going across it. That sells Fiat right there. It's that's, very Italian. Yeah. And this car has several quite 
unique and kind of humorous features that I love. For one, yes, it sings. Uh, do have you heard this song? No, I haven't. But I was assuming it'd be like you know, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure it out. You know, as it's going up to you, or you know,、um, maybe it's doing Rossini. We don't know 100 if it's going to be doing that. Actually, we do know. Yes. So first of all, it has a welcoming noise when you're, you know, as a driver or a passenger, you're entering it,、mm -hmm. which is fine. But also, as you start up, it also has an exterior speaker that can play another melody, I guess, to warn the pedestrians around you. It's kind of the musical equivalent of an engine note, and the whole purpose of that is specifically, yes, to warn people that are near you that the vehicle is moving or it's active. Now, real quickly, the Fiat 500e. A part overseas makes a ton of noise. It's considered one of the loudest EVs out there because it's using kind of a digitalized version of an engine note. Ah, here we go.、Um, yeah, so this is the original. Actually, Tommy and Roman own one of these. Yes, yes, yes. CFL that, owns one. Yeah, we've done several videos with the original one. That is the original one, and look how small it is compared to Cinquecento. Yeah. Next to this. And、Remember, four of us got into this original one. Yeah, last yeah, year somehow we barely got into yeah, that. Yeah, it was I, painful. Yeah, I had but, cramps but, going but, for a week last year. It was bad. <laughs> so the new one is, should be much more comfortable. Now, as far as we know, at least currently, the 500 regular 500e does not have a convertible top of any sort. We don't know if that's going to change later on. I'm hoping it does because I thought that was a cool feature. Now. Compared to the 500e that it replaces, this is a bigger vehicle in almost every dimension. Yeah, and importantly, so 118 horsepower,、mm -hmm. 162 pound-feet of torque. So the Mini we mentioned has way more power. Yeah, 181、uh, horsepower. Here, I believe. So this is the current SE that we we're mentioning, and this is the closest competitor.、Uh, yeah, by far. One, yeah, I, I know some of you might be asking, what about the Chevy Bolt? Well, that's going away. And the Bolt is small, but it's nowhere near as small as these vehicles. But the Bolt has a strength; it has four doors. It has four doors、yeah. and has much greater range. But、yeah. also, the Bolt is a much larger vehicle, which is funny to say because the, the Bolt is、uh, tiny. Well, this guy starts at thirty thousand nine hundred. Yeah.、Um, of course, with more options, it can get higher in the higher thirties. What does this start at? At thirty-two five. However, the thirty-two five that you're paying for, you you're getting the the either the red edition or the early editions, which give you. Uh, a large screen,、um, totally different type of、uh, infotainment setup in this vehicle. There it is.、Right、that、there. is standard. That's cool. Yeah, that is a very large screen.、Um, in addition, this is a vehicle that will replace the fledgling、uh, Mini that, or sorry, Mini Fiat that is out there right now. Fiat is not doing particularly well in the well, United States. Well, they haven't updated our U.S. <laughs> inventory so in a while. So this is the first in, in update,、yes. and I think that many. God, I said it again. I think that Fiat, because they compete. With but they're、many. both cute and small. They are cute and small. But I think that Fiat will be、uh, bringing more electric vehicles to the fold. I'm hoping they'll be just as affordable, if not more so. But there is more. Should we talk about the、um, conductor of the sounds? Because <laughs> we're not going to try to say his whole name because we already failed when we were working on it before well, the video went、Italian. live. No.、Um, so this is a Flavio Iba Marco. Yeah, his name is Flavio. <laughs> And he, Gualdi. Right. So、uh, it's going to be making noises as it's going down the street, and it'll be making noises when you get into the car, and there'll be Italian noises. I have no idea what that really means. So、uh, I want to talk about this. It has a Sherpa mode. Yes. So it has several normal, range, and Sherpa.、Uh, this, well, that's a funny name. Yeah. But this reminds me of like the eco setting on the i3 electric BMW.、Uh, yeah. BMW.、Uh, the Sherpa mode will. Um, cut your top speed to about 50 miles per hour, and also reduce your power from maximum to about 57 kilowatts. So that's decreasing what by 30 percent ish or so. Right, but it's giving you greater range,、yeah. so you can really stretch it out. Just to stretch it out. Yeah. Right. So,、uh, what about availability? Do we know anything about yeah, that? Yeah. So early 2020. Four, so first quarter of 2024, which means in the next few months. Yeah, so I said a couple months. It could be a little bit more than a couple months. So that's the time frame. Well, I am excited about the fact that we finally are getting a somewhat affordable electric vehicle. And bear in mind, we don't have information on whether or not it will be available with any of the、um, special government. Returns that you can get on your taxes. We yeah, because it's built about, in Italy. It is. However,、yeah. we will find out about the battery and all that later on. However, there are still other、uh, things that you can get out there.
You do oh, have you connect five, so the, the latest infotainment system that, that is showed wireless you. Apple CarPlay and Android yeah. Auto. And um, also, I, I wanted to mention so other versions of the 500D will be forthcoming. Right? Yes. So this they're they're trying to mimic the fashion industry, right? Mm -hmm. So the red model is first, then maybe some other colors will come out with mm -hmm. different options. Exactly. So. There's more to look forward to. Yeah, we're expecting a lot more in the near future, so stay tuned. And uh, hopefully we'll be driving one of these minis before you know it. I said mini again. Can you do that song again? Figure, figure, oh. figure. How many figure, how many figure, how many? That's as far as I can go. <laughs> there you I, go. Thanks for joining us, oldtfl.com, for all the news in one place. That's right, and it's a Fiat, not a mini, Nathan. God. Fiat. <laughs>